On the outside, books appear to be simple objects, but on the inside, their words have the power to transport us to new lands. Museums may appear like ordinary buildings, but step inside and you'll find works of art that can set your imagination ablaze. If you look carefully and closely, you can discover magic in the ordinary. Want to give it a try? Let's open up the museum, just like we open up a book, and start an adventure. Hello. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Oceanside's Museum of Art and Oceanside Public Library. With your help, the character featured on our last video was inspired to start a new chapter in his life by finding magic in the ordinary. And now, third graders, I have one more story. Let's turn the page and hear from the artist of a hole in thin air, Perry Vasquez. Hi everyone, my name is Perry Vasquez and I'm glad that you've been spending so much time with my painting. You might wonder what first sparked my interest in art. I was actually around your age. My mother had recently moved my brother and I from California to North Carolina where I started at a new school. I didn't know anyone and I was really lonely. One day an art teacher visited our class and showed us prints by great painters and I saw the work of Van Gogh and Vermeer and Bierstadt and Bruegel and I was hooked. A hole in thin air that now hangs in your classroom was inspired by many things in my life. The characters represent me and my cousins and I spent a lot of summers having adventures with my cousins in Escondido. You could say my childhood is a setting but you'll also notice that it's hard to define the setting. I painted the kids' eyes closed to suggest they could be thinking about that hole in thin air. They seem to be waiting for it to open up, and there is a feeling that something might appear out of nothing. The mood was inspired by the work of artist Salvador Dali. He used color to create dreamlike or surreal places. Like Dali, I use an old master's color palette. The sky is a mixture of Veronese green and Mars black, which gives it that eerie feeling. The ground colors are burnt sienna, Naples yellow, and Venetian red. Many of these colors were named after cities and regions in Italy where their pigments are found. All the colors I've used have an earthy power, which gives the painting mystery. People have also asked me, what's the meaning of my painting? And my answer is, that is entirely up to you. I prefer not to say. I'd rather leave room for you to add your own thoughts and feelings and fill in the missing pieces. I hope you can be inspired to use the painting that I created to start your own stories and adventures. Happy painting. What an inspirational story. We can't wait to see you again at your local museum and library. Goodbye. So now, I encourage you to take another look at the painting in your classroom. Does it look ordinary, or can you see the magic within the frame? Pick a character and use your imagination to create an extraordinary story with the tools in your student activity kit. We can't wait to see you again at your local museum and library. Goodbye.